welcome back to my channel. So today I have a designer shoe haul for you. So I picked up two designer shoes that I wanted to share with you. It's officially becoming spring here on the East Coast and I needed to get some shoes that are more spring but also I wanted to kind of work on my shoe collection. I think I've spent a lot of like attention on handbags and other accessories and I really needed to step up my shoe game. So starting in the spring, I'm really looking to kind of upgrade my shoe collection and get some really nice um, shoes added into my wardrobe. I wanted to mention I am not including shoes as part of my concept of my capsule wardrobe. Shoes are just not part of that because I don't think shoes are something that, you know, it changes. If they feel uncomfortable, then you can't continue to wear them. If you, you know, shoes, I just feel like don't, for me, work within the category of a capsule wardrobe. So shoe hauls may be coming more frequently now because again, I am focusing on my shoe collection and more specifically my designer shoe collection so I picked up two pairs of shoes for spring so far and I actually did some shopping on Barney's New York warehouse so I got extremely good deals on these shoes so I wanted to share them with you especially before I started wearing them and everything so so I have two pairs of shoes to show you the first pair is by Isabel Marant and this is um, the I guess they're more contemporary line of course they come with a dust bag so I ended up picking up this pair of Isabel Morant's espadrilles and to show you, here they are so they're just a really nice pair of espadrilles for spring I thought this was really great because espadrilles I think are a really great flat shoe to wear for spring and summer and I really didn't have a pair of espadrilles. Um, in summer 2013 I wore those Chanel espadrilles to death but I and since then I've been on a hunt for another pair of espadrilles but I felt like those Chanel ones were kind of like done and like I was like over them so I thought these were just like a playful pair to add to my shoe collection and I got these in a size 39. These are really I would say very uh, moderately priced like very reasonable like I got them on sale so I got a really really awesome deal on them but even regularly regular price these are really kind of good entry level designer shoe that's I believe really affordable so excited to be wearing these the next pair of shoes I want to share with you is a very special pair of shoes because it's my very first pair of Manolo's so got, I got a pair of Manolo Blahniks that I picked up again on Barney's uh, New York at uh, Barney's New York warehouse so here it is comes with the Manolo Blahnik dust bag these stunning gray suede pumps. I'm going to show you guys the um, information on the box so you'll have the, like the style number and all. So here's the style name and I'll put it um, down here too. This but is just a gray pump and this is a 4 inch 100 mm inch. heel height and it's just a beautiful light gray suede pump which has like this um, detail there, kind of like a lace-up pump, which I thought was really going to be great for added comfort. It feels so comfortable so far. Again, I've just worn them around my house. I haven't worn them out just yet. And these are just stunning. I thought they were perfect for, for spring because they're such a light, beautiful gray. But also, just looking at the shoe, it's so stunning and just so well made. I'm super excited to have these. I'm going to be definitely styling them up and you guys will see that. If you follow me on Instagram, definitely check me out there. Um, 
but yeah these are my new Manolo Blahniks I'm really excited I just I just love them they're stunning and um, I think there's again perfect kind of entry level uh, pump for a designer because it has the lace up detail like I can add give you that added support I just love these so far so I got these in a size 40 because they were sold out pretty much. This was the last pair. And I'm really a eight and a half, eight, eight and a half, like in like in regular shoes. But anytime I purchase designer shoes, I usually size up to 39. And if I'm buying heels, I get a 39 and a half just for extra comfort. There were no 39 and a half. The only size they had left was a 40, which I was... I just went for it because I, I had never tried these on, obviously, so I didn't know how they were going to fit. But surprisingly enough, the 40 is works for me. I could have probably used a 39 and a half, but I am, I'm going to make the 40 work for me because, again, these were um, just about sold out and this was the last pair of that was available. Guys, thanks so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video, this kind of designer shoe haul. If you have any questions or comments, as always, let me know in the comments section below. Until next time, guys. Bye.